Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a grungier look from the Twilight palette. And um, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I went ahead and started with the Glow Oil by Supergoop. It has SPF of 50 in it. Works really good um, for older skin. It gives you just a little bit more moisture to go underneath all the makeup. So I'm really liking that. Um, let's see. I did go ahead and use the Revolution uh, Skin Silk. I have mine in F2, which is a cool shade. I think these actually pull more peach, and I've been finding uh, more companies uh, when they do are doing cooler shades, and this is supposed to be one of the cooler shades. Instead of pulling pink, they're pulling more of a peach, and that's what I'm finding here. So um, I like it, but Again, it's just a trend that I'm kind of noticing. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. This one is in Buttercup. And uh, this is, it has a pretty much a peachy kind of glow to it. At least that's what I found. And it's one of the lightest ones. In fact, yeah, I think this one, yeah, it's the lightest one. Um, I have Buttercup and all buttered up. And um, this one definitely is running peachy. This one has a little bit more red in it. And then as far as what I did on the... Um, I picked up another one of the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. And this time I got Rosewood. And I'm really liking this color. I think it's really working out. Um, as far as... I got the Shimmery Rose one. And for me, that color just didn't quite work. It just was a little bit, it, it, it didn't give me any color. It just gave me a little bit of a glow. So I'm liking the rosewood a lot better. And um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, this Catrice highlighter, this one is in Supreme Rose Beam. And it will, it is one of those highlighters that glows into the next star system. And um, if you ever get a chance to pick it up or you're doing an order on the Catrice website, because we don't get Catrice in the stores, you can order it on the Catrice website site. Trees and Essence are both owned by the same country and um, country. <clears throat> Catrice and Essence are both owned by the same company and um, in the U.S. you can't get Catrice um, in store anymore. It used to be at Ulta. You have to order it on the website. Um, but in the UK and in Europe, Catrice is a really big brand. Um, but this is really good. Um, this is one of my favorite all-time highlighters. And so if you're ever making an order and you see it, definitely I would suggest picking it up. It just never causes me a problem. It's wonderful. Did go ahead and use Dazed by ColourPop for my lip. Um, <clears throat> and then I also use the NYX Butter Gloss, and this one's in bling. So that's what I have on there. And then I uh, did go ahead and use Twilight. And when I first saw this palette, um, there was so much hype around it. It sold out twice before it even got, you know, to the point where it was in stock long enough to order it off of the ColourPop website. So um, it, and it just had that feeling of being for the fans and not being really for anybody else. But I'm taking it back because this is a really versatile palette. I mean, if you want a cool tone palette that can take you there and do a whole bunch of different looks, I've been working with it and it's it's pretty amazing. I did a beauty, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful uh, periwinkle look and it just, it, and the green look that I've done is amazing. And there are a couple of different brown looks that I can do with it. And I'm even thinking of doing a brown look. And I never do brown looks. So, yeah, I would definitely suggest if you like cool tone colors and you want to play around and see exactly how far you can take it, this is one of those standout palettes to do that with. So to go through what I actually have on, 
Um, and again, I'm finding all sorts of different looks that I didn't know that I could do with this palette. Um, I did go ahead and start with the gray, and that's actually right on the lid. Went ahead and put the purple, and this is actually a glitter shade, so there are actual glitter particles in here. I went ahead and put that over the lid. Um, I went ahead and put this one in the crease, so this is in the crease and a little higher, and went ahead and used this beautiful white silver shade um, as a topper all over the top. I did go ahead and use this as eyeliner on the bottom, and I think I came out with a grungier gray look that has a little bit of sparkle to it, and so here's how it worked out. And um, let's see, what else did I go ahead and do today? Um, I haven't even really put any powder on today. Um, I guess we could go ahead and do that. And I'll use Beauty Pie Triple. This is their Triple Glow Powder that I've always had really good luck with. I even have a backup of this one. And... So there we go with that, and we'll go ahead and use the Glisten Up by ColourPop to go ahead and set it all. Oh. So uh, there we go, there's the look, yeah. and. Um, I think it worked out. Um, like I said, this has turned out to be a very, very versatile palette that I really didn't think was going to be that versatile. Um, it's definitely grungy. It definitely has periwinkle. There aren't any purples in here. When I first took a look at it, these are so dark, these colors here, that I thought that they were going to go purple. They go periwinkle. This color story is beautifully cool tone and yeah I would definitely recommend this palette to anybody it's really good and ColourPop came back with a really solid palette so um, amazingly good definitely pick it up have a great day